Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yosef Shakil and you're watching CSS tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about CSS position property. So let's get started. All right, guys, I have opened brackets and now I'll go ahead and create a new file inside the project folder and I'll name it position.html and I'll write the following HTML code. So we have the doc type HTML opening and closing HTML tag. We have the opening and closing head tag and we have set the title for this page to position. Now inside the CSS folder, we'll go ahead and create a new file and we'll save this as position.css. And now inside the HTML file inside the head, we'll include this position.css file. So we'll write link, we'll set the rel to stylesheet href to CSS slash position.css and now we'll open this in live preview all right so we use the position property to define the position of an html element in a web page and the values that we use for this position properties are static fixed relative and absolute and we'll discuss all this position values in this video so before we start, let us go ahead and create a sample layout. So inside the body, let us go ahead and create a div and give this div an ID header. And inside this div, let us create a paragraph and let us set the content to ID equal to header. So this will be our header and let us create another div and give this div an ID container and uh, let us create a paragraph inside this div and set the value to id equal to container so this will be the container and let us create a footer so let us create a div having id footer and inside this div let us create a paragraph and set the content to id equal to footer so this is our footer now inside the container let us create another div and give this div an id div dash one and inside this div let us create a paragraph and set the content to id equal to div dash one and let us also create another paragraph inside this div having id div dash one and let us set the content to this is a sample paragraph now let us create three more divs inside this div container so we'll go ahead and copy paste it and we'll set the id for this div to div dash two and the content of this paragraph to id equal to div dash two and we'll create another div and we'll set the id to div dash three and we'll set the content to div dash three and we'll create one last div having id div dash four and we'll set the content for this paragraph to id equal to div dash four so this is our sample layout so we have a header we have a container containing some divs and paragraphs and we have a footer all right now let us go ahead and style this sample layout now first we'll remove the padding and margin from the body so we'll write body and we'll set the padding to zero and margin to zero now let us give all the divs a padding of let's say five pixels so we'll write div and we'll give it a padding of five pixels and now let us give the header that is this div having id header and the footer that is this div having id footer a background color of light blue 
so we'll write hash header comma hash footer and we'll set the background color to light blue and let us set the background color of this div having id container to light gray so we'll write hash container and we'll set the background color property to light gray and now let us set the background color of this div having id div dash one to light salmon so we'll write hash div dash one and we'll set the background color to light salmon and let us set the background color of this div having id div dash two to light green so we'll write hash div dash two and we'll set the background color to light green and let us set the background color of this div having id div dash three to light pink so we'll write hash div dash three and we'll set the background color to light pink and finally let us set the background color of this div having id div dash four to light yellow so we'll write hash div dash four and we'll set the background color to light yellow all right so our sample layout is ready so this is this is the sample layout style and now we'll talk about the position property so position property so we use the position property to define the position of an HTML element in a given web page. And there are four values, static, fixed, relative, and absolute. The first property is static and it is the default property and every element starts with the position static. So if the position property of an element is set to static, then it will occur at a normal position. So if it's an inline element, it will occur after some other element. And if it is a block element, then it will start from a new line. So it will be a normal flow. Like in this case, we have a div header then a container inside that container we have four more divs and finally we have a footer and they are all at this moment in the static state which is the default state and since we know that divs are block elements so they are all taking up the entire width and since we have created the header first so it is at the top then we have created the container so the container is after the header then inside the container, we have created four divs, div one, div two, div three, and div four. So they are in that order. And finally we have the footer. So it is at the last. So there is the normal flow. So static is default and it is for normal position. The next property is the fixed property. And we use this to set the position of an HTML element with respect to the browser window or the viewport. So this is to set the position of an element with respect to the browser window. And 
when we set the position property to fixed for any HTML element, then we also define its position from top, right, bottom and left. So for example, let's say we want to fix this div 4 at the top right corner of the page. So for that we'll write hash div 4 and first we'll set the position property to fixed and now you can see it has moved out of the container and the footer has moved up and now we'll set this div 4 at the top so we'll write top and let's say 32 pixels from the top so now you can see this div having id div dash 4 is now 32 pixels from the top and we want this at the right side and let's say we want it 32 pixels from the right so we'll set right to 32 pixels and now this div having id div dash 4 is having position set to fixed and it is 32 pixels from the top and 32 pixels from the right side and when we set the position property to fixed then this element that is this div having id div dash 4 will remain fixed at this position even if we scroll the page up and down similarly we can also set the position of this div having id div dash 4 to bottom left so let me comment this So we are targeting the div dash 4 and when we set its position property to fixed it will come out of its position. So position fixed. And now let's say we want this div having id div dash 4 at the bottom and 32 pixels from the bottom. So we'll write bottom and we'll set it to 32 pixels and let's say we want this div to be 32 pixels from the left side so we'll set the left property to 32 pixels and now you can see this div is now 32 pixels from the left and 32 pixels from the bottom and since we have set the position of this div to fixed so it has left its original position and that position is now taken up by the other div that is the footer now let's talk about the relative property so I'll comment this we use the relative property to position an element with respect to its original position so this is to set the position of an element with respect to its original position. So let's say we want to position this div having id div dash 2 32 pixels from the left side and 32 pixels from the top so we'll write hash div dash 2 since we are targeting this div having id div dash 2 and we want to position it relative to its original position so we'll set the position property to relative and we want this div 32 pixels from the left so left and we'll set this to 32 pixels and we want this 32 pixels from the top so we'll set the top property to 32 pixels and now if you look at the output you can see this div having id div dash 2 is 32 pixels from the left 
and 32 pixels from the top with respect to its original position. And since this div is having position relative, so it has not left its original position. And since its original position is not vacant, so the other divs are not moving to its position. That is, they are not moving up to fill up this vacant place. And now let us discuss the absolute property. So let me come in this. So this is to set the absolute position of an element in a page. So let's say we want this div having ID div dash three to be in an absolute position and we want it to be at 32 pixels from the left and 32 pixels from the top. So since we are targeting this div having ID div dash three, so we'll write hash div dash three. And since we want an absolute position, so we'll set the position property to absolute. And we want it 32 pixels from left and we wanted 32 pixels from the top. So now if you look at the output, you can see this div having ID div dash three is now 32 pixels from left and 32 pixels from top. And since we have set its position to absolute, so this div dash three has left its original position and since it has left its original position, the div four has now taken its place. That is the div four and the footer, they have moved upwards to fill up that vacant space. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website, dyclassroom.com and all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You will find all the links in the video description, so feel free to check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video and like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.